Now he's a five level scorer. He's a walking bucket. Yeah. Is this a rhythm thing? I'm trying to count the seconds that he takes to make his moves. When does he make them? I mean, he's Kevin Durant. I promise we tried. <laughs> Kevin Durant, aka the Slim Reaper, is the perfect name to describe his skills on the basketball court. Because standing nearly 7 feet tall with a 7'5 wingspan, Durant possesses the ball handling skills of a guard. His slender build and ability to take over games create a unique combination of attributes that make him nearly impossible to defend. The usual limits of size don't apply to KD. He moves like a guard, but is tall and has a lot of reach, like a dominant center. He is like something you make in a video game, because his handles are so tight and precise he can easily get through defenders, make a shot off the dribble, and leave opponents defenseless when he has a one-on-one. -on -one. Only a few guys in basketball history have been able to score as efficiently and in as many different ways as KD. But if you include being 7 feet, it's barely anybody. He can pull up for 3, rise for a mid-range jumper, or attack the basket. Kevin Durant is not just one of the most skilled scorers in NBA history. He is a player who redefined what is possible on the court. His unique blend of size, skill, and IQ makes him a nightmare for defenders. So here is a collection of NBA legends and players explaining how gifted a scorer Kevin Durant is. Enjoy the video, man. I think he has his own special category, yeah. like, like me. Yeah, I, like I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not in the goat cutting asset, but I am one of two of the most dominant players ever. ever. So he's one of two of the most most prolific dominant scorers ever. Yes. And, and I think, and I think, like you said, to piggyback on what you said, because. You lose the Golden State and then you go join them and win the championship. I think that tarnishes it. Now, if he can win one where he's the bus driver like Charles would say, I think we would definitely have to put him in that conversation. I mean, you don't see a, a seven foot two guard uh, with, with with deep range, uh, absolutely no holds in, the, in his offensive game. Can post, can shoot over anybody, can run a pick and roll. I mean, on defense, he's so long, he's active, and so. Yeah, I mean, to me, he's one of the best scorers, if not the best scorer this, uh, this league has ever seen. Because there's just nothing that he, he can't do, and he's still long, but he can get a shot off at, at any time. So, I'm a huge Kevin fan. I met him a couple times off the floor. He's super cool and relaxed. He's a super hard worker, uh, and always trying to get better. Favorite KD memories was playing him in the 2012 NBA Finals. And around that time, even though KD got like seven inches on me, I still was like, I was a good defender and I was, I was athletic enough to be able to guard bigger guys. Good timing and all that. So I remember, you know, throughout the series, Brown and I would take, uh, you know, uh, times with guarding KD. Just give him some rest, I'll go guard him and vice versa. And I remember one game in Miami, I'm guarding KD. I'm taking every move and everything, every counter he, he give at me, I'm there. Great defense being played. He go up for the shot. I contest it. I'm talking about if his wrist is here, I'm right here. Like perfect contest. And he hits it and he runs down the court and very quietly he say, you too small. Finding room. Gets it to go. Boy, he worked hard for that shot. Like it hurt me in a way <laughs> that I could do nothing but laugh <laughs> because it was the truth. I was just too small. It was nothing more I could do. And like he just said it so confidently and quietly like, Oh, you too small. <laughs> I remember that moment because at that moment, like I was like, this guy is gonna be, <laughs> he's gonna be next level great. He will go down as arguably, 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 <laughs> Katie, the most purest scorer that this league has ever seen. Oh, that's coming from Melo, B. Like he is a three, nah, he, nah, he's a five level scorer. Like uh, we was breaking the five levels down. Yeah. He's a five level scorer. There's no way he can't score at, on the court. But he's seven feet. Yeah, with a you bag. seven feet, champ. You seven feet. He don't seven like feet that. With a bag, he don't like you that. automatically in the group. He don't like that. He don't like that. But he's seven feet. Yeah. Doing he changed the game. This is this he's seven foot and to be able to shoot the ball and be efficient that way. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like think about it. This man is shooting 50 some percent and it's mostly jumpers. It is. Right? Like that 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 is insane to me. So I can't leave out the hype on KD because that is, that's what makes him so unique and dynamic. He's one of the most talented basketball players that we've ever seen uh, in our time. You know, the ability to score and create his own shot. I think he's an underrated defender. Uh, he guards, you know, one through five, uh, but just his ability to shoot the ball, man. He, he reminds me a lot of Durst because you've never seen Kevin Durant get a shot blocked to that set of feet. 
I mean, you just can't touch it. You have the high release, a quick release, uh, but his skills, man. Like if, if you had to pick a pick up a hall sign, hoop squad to go out and play a pickup game, KD's the number one pick. Like you, you gotta have him on your squad. But he's a Hall of Famer. He's a top 10 player in the NBA history for me, in my book. We tried everything. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. So we, we we tried everything. We had we had several different coverages for KD and They didn't work. <laughs> do, yeah, like like sometimes sometimes you come across special people and it doesn't matter what you send to them. It's no scheme. It's no def it's no nothing. Kevin Kevin Durant is a transcendent talent, bro. Like we've never we've never, we've never seen, seen it before. We've never seen any anybody like KD. Kevin Durant is absolutely one of the best players that we've seen. He's so gifted offensively that it's there's no there's no coverage. Like honestly, it's just hopefully he missed shots. Like yeah. hopefully he's not hot that night. And it's it's that that's that's literally like like when you're guarding him, just fuck. Hope it's a long night. Hope he's missing shots. Like. Just try to show bodies and, you know what I mean, make it tough as possible. Like, that's just how you have to match up with him. Yeah. But he's so good as a scorer, and I think he's – he's why, what makes him so special now is he's so underrated as a playmaker mm -hmm. that, like, now – so? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he absolutely. makes the game easy for He makes everyone. the game easy for everybody around him because he can get he's anywhere he wants on the floor, anything? and yeah. he's seven foot. He can see over the defense. He's going to draw two people. And, yeah, and from there, he's just going to play, make, and make the game easy for everybody around him. It was a playoff series where we was playing the Memphis Grizzlies. And Tony Allen was all over him. You know, Tony Allen, grit and grind, like he just, you know, made it very difficult for him. And I remember KD looking at the film and just realizing how he was just trying to eat up and crawl into his space, uh, take away his real estate, making it difficult for him. And he was just like, I got it. Like, I, I know what I need to do. And this was at the same time where, like, Mr. Unreliable and the article, the, the paper came out and Oklahoma City Press and everything. And we was just like, yo, just stay ready, man. You're the MVP. We believe in you. And, man, when I tell you he came out with, like, one of the most efficient scoring nights I've ever seen, it was just, it was almost comical the way that he dissected that game offensively. Memphis threw everything at him. They blacked him, they threw double teams, they threw a couple blitz at him. And every facet, off the screens he was scoring, off the isolation he was scoring, he was getting like multiple effort buckets. Like he just did it all, man. So that was like one of my fondest memories of him, like responding to adversity uh, and just in real time and having his fingerprints all over us, a playoff series. Playing against KD, I think, um, was was kind of my little welcome to the NBA moment. You know, I, I guarded him for most of that game, and it was really just nothing you could do. I mean, like, you can, you know, double team a guy, you can pack the paint on a guy and, like, make it difficult for him. But, like, with KD, there's really nothing you can do. Like, he's going to hezzy pull from three, so you got to guard that. If you jump on that, he's going to hesitate you and get to the mid-range. Then he's going to get to the basket. Like, he's seven feet. You know, he's he, he's shooting over centers. Like, the one shot he had against us, that really just made me like, like, usually guys do, you know, great plays in the game on the opposite team. And I'm just like, all right, let's go. Like, take the ball out. Let's go. But like, a couple of his buckets, I'm like sitting there pausing for a second. Like, God damn. <laughs> when I watch him play, it just looks way too easy. It's just unbelievable, man. Does he make this, does, we, we talk about this with him a lot, but like, does the, how easy it is for him to score, does that ever, even for somebody like you, make you a little bit like envious that he can just do whatever he wants all the time? I think everybody feels like that, man. It's just, I don't know, man. It just looks too easy. Like, if you see him, you know, you can say everybody can do it, but only he can do it, man. It's just unbelievable the way he scores the ball. Who's your goat? My goat? Your goat. Man. This is gonna sound crazy, but Kevin Durant. I mean, I've always just been a fan watching him play yeah. as a kid, you know? I've always been a fan watching him play as a kid. Yeah. And um, it's just, he's the first seven footer I've seen like putting the ball on the floor and scoring off the dribble. So I've always been a big fan. Top five, he might break top five in, in scoring. Oh, he's no doubt gonna yeah. break top five. He's gonna be a 30,000 point score. I mean, think about the guys are all at the top five. Who shoots the ball like KD? None of them. 
Jordan, Kobe, Malone, Kareem. Right. No one, right. none of them can shoot the ball right. like him. And he's a seven footer, putting it on the ground, playing like a point guard. You know, one of my favorite guys to see it, I, I, I liked him in Texas, was Kevin Durant. He had that, once I developed that eight foot, you know, area mm -hmm. where, you know, the step backs from eight foot, I, you know, by no means am I comparing myself to, to a Kevin Durant, but I liked his style. Kevin Durant, we have similarities. I mean, size-wise, I was thin, he's thin. He's taller than I am. He put the ball on the floor. He can shoot the ball from anywhere. I mean, so he has similarities. You know, KD's one of the greatest scorers to ever play the game. You cannot play that way. You know, if you go back and forth with a guy like that, he's going to score 50, 70. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, I just had a lucky night. You know, he just had like a 50-point triple-double against us. The, it was unbelievable. I think for me, that was the best uh, version of KD ever that I've ever played against. I went to him and I talked to him. I said, hey, man, like, I'm not here without you. Like, I'm not here without you. Like, you inspired me. You know, uh, you impacted my life. Like, I wanted to be like you, you know? Um, the way you play, the way you carry yourself, the greatness that you have, like, you know, all the things that you've ac accomplished in your career, like, I look up to all of that. LeBron James has 20 straight seasons scoring 25 points or more a game. That's the record. You know second? Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, 15 <laughs> in a row this year. Yeah. Is there a player out there that you're looking at that motivates you? Yeah. Yeah. Who's Kevin, that player? Kevin Durant. I love the way he plays the game. The way he plays the game every single night, man, is very inspiring. And it's motivating. This is a guy who goes out every single night and gives it his all. Back and forth between the two best players in the NBA. He's going to be one of the greatest scorers to ever play this game. But the way he plays, just so joyous and happy, and it's like, so he's like a kid back in Maryland. Mm -hmm. You know, and I feel like when I'm on the floor, I'm a kid back in Akron, man. Right. I just want to play this game. We don't have many matchups left. Um, not sure how many we have left, but so you don't ever want to take, you know, take it for granted when you're out there with, with such a, a great player, one of the, you know, the best to ever play this game. So you know, it's always a, it's always a treat and um, it's fun. And, um, you know, a lot of people always talk about, you know, his weight or whatever the case may be. KD is, he will get you up off him for sure, you know, out on the floor. So he's putting a lot of work, but he's just always been, He's just a natural born score. You know, you have certain guys just coming to this league that's just, that's what they do and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, Carmelo Anthony was one of those guys. Um, Allen Iverson's one of those guys. Kevin Durant's one of those guys. It's just, and listen, you just hope that they miss. You know, you just play great defense and maybe you can, you know, get a couple turnovers on them, make it a little tough on them. But I mean, we, we felt like we made it as tough as it could be at 39 tonight. So, um, but this is, like I said, it's a treat to, uh, to be out there with KD Trey Five for sure. Any chance of Durant, you know, eclipsing LeBron or passing LeBron? He doesn't have to. When we talk about basketball 20, 30 years from now, we're going to talk about Durant. We're going to talk about him being one of the all time greats. What about Kevin Durant? What do you think about He's Kevin coming. Durant? Yeah, you, talk, you talk about these two and you're battling who's the best, and Kevin Durant is going to sneak in the back door. He came back one season and it became the toughest matchup that I've had to deal with in my entire career outside of Tracy McGrady. Tony Allen was the toughest guy to defend you. Who was By the far. toughest guy to defend? Kevin Durant. Mm. Okay. Kevin Durant. That yeah. was the one that I, I retired without really having to, being able to figure out what it is that he, you know, how I can Why? stop him. Why? Um, when he first came in the league, he was easy to defend because he couldn't go right and shoot. Mm. You should kind of shoot across his face. So that was a weakness that he had. Also in the post, he couldn't turn left shoulder. Everything was right shoulder. So that gave me areas that I could shut off, mm -hmm. right? And then he started developing it, started developing it. And now he can pull up left, he can pull up right. Mm -hmm. He can shoot the long ball. He has runners, left hand, right hand. Mm -hmm. Before he had a left hand finish at the rim, I could always send him left, force him all the way to the basket. Even with the advantage of his size, he was still uncomfortable finishing with his left. So I could clamp the right hand mm -hmm. and now force him into tough situations. Mm -hmm. But now he developed that. So then I, was, I couldn't really figure out, try to, is this a rhythm thing? I'm trying to count the seconds that he takes to make his moves. When does he make them? At what times in the game? I couldn't really figure out that rhythm yet. So I retired not being able to figure him out. What has KD shown you this season? He gets buckets, like he's been getting. <laughs> right, he's a bucket getter. Um, you know, he's showing you that at 35, this is what he does still. Get buckets. 
you know, his consistency, though, at the age, at this age. His durability. His durability, yeah. It's amazing, though, just to see him continue to do this. And, you know, I haven't really looked at the numbers. Uh, what is he, 35 right now? He's 35, boy. And I don't know what don't his total no point is. Yeah, he missed, he missed a lot of time, but he would have been one that would have been close to getting 40,000, too. If he never never got hurt, KD gonna play, Lord. Let me say something to you. That two years helped him. He gonna play into forty two. He gonna play into his. You know 40s. what you, you know what he can do? He's a walking bucket. Yeah. When KD put one leg out the car. That's a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> the other leg comes out of two buttons. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. As soon as he get out the car, walking bucket. Right. Shout to KD, man. Still doing it, man. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And how long do you think Kevin Durant will play? He is going to be 36 years old this season. And where do you rank him on your all-time list? So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and until next time.